If you can program your favorite TV shows to record, you can program the remote for your motorized shades. Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is. Once your shade is installed properly according to the installation instructions that came with your product, we're ready to begin the programming process. In this short video, we're going to discuss setting up your remote, pairing your remote with a shade motor, deleting a channel from a motor, adjusting the upper and lower limits, and setting a favorite position for your shade. You can always consult your installation instructions as needed for additional reference. Do not attempt to raise or lower your motorized shade manually. Doing so can permanently damage the motor and other components in the headrail. If you're unsure which channel or remote your shade was programmed to, there is a tag with this information located on the back of the shade at the bottom. Throughout the programming process, your shade will respond with one or more jogs, which are quick up and down jolts. This means your shade motor is successfully communicating with your remote. The first step will be to insert the lithium battery into the remote control. With the back of the remote facing you, slide the back cover off and set the battery into place. The positive side of the battery should be facing toward you. You will see five buttons on the front of your remote control. Up, Stop, Down, Channel Increase, and Channel Decrease. On the back of the remote, there are two more buttons we'll be using. C for confirm and L for limit. Your remote can operate up to five shades separately using one channel per shade. The five channel lights at the top of the remote indicate which channel you're currently operating. To change channels, press the channel increase or channel decrease button to toggle to the left or right. If you want to operate all five channels simultaneously, increase or decrease the channel until all five indicators illuminate. Press the up button to raise the shade. Press the stop button to halt the movement at any point. Press the down button to lower the shade. Let's now discuss how to pair your remote with a specific shade. The following steps are only necessary if you want to change how the channels are configured or if you're adding a new shade to a remote already in use. Set the remote to whichever channel you want to program the shade to. Then. Disconnect the motor cable from the battery on the shade itself. The next step needs to be completed within three seconds. Quickly plug the motor into the battery on the shade and then press and hold the C button on the back of the remote. When the shade jogs, you'll know the remote is paired to the channel you've selected. If your shade didn't respond with a jog, consider having someone help you with this step or you can repeat this step more quickly. Now let's discuss how you delete a channel from your shade's motor. Select the channel you would like to delete first. On the back of the remote, rapidly press the C button six or more times. When the shade jogs, the motor is no longer assigned to the channel and is ready to be paired with a new channel or remote. Your shade arrives pre-programmed with top and bottom stop limits, so only proceed with this process if you want to change how these settings are configured. Keep in mind that if you do begin this process, you must reset both the top and bottom limits even if you only want to adjust one limit. On the back of the remote, press and hold the L button for a few seconds. When the shade jogs, you'll know your remote is in programming mode. Now press the down button to lower the shade until it's almost to the bottom, then press stop. From there, repeatedly press down to lower the shade slowly in increments. When you're ready to save the bottom position, press the C button to confirm. The shade will jog once to acknowledge that your lower limit is now set. Now press the up button to raise the shade until it's almost to the top, then press stop. From here, repeatedly press up to raise the shade slowly in increments. When you're ready to save the top position, press the C button. The shade will jog once to acknowledge that your upper limit is now set, and the motor will automatically exit programming mode. Test the new limits by allowing the shade to fully raise and lower until it stops automatically. The last optional step is setting a favorite position. Use the up or down button to position your shade to your desired favorite position. Press and hold the L button while simultaneously pressing and holding the up button. After a few seconds, your shade will jog to confirm that the favorite position is saved. Now, whenever the shade is not in motion, Holding the stop button will move your shade directly to your saved position. You did it! 
you now know how to operate and program your motorized Roman shade. If you have any questions or need more help programming your remote, refer to the installation instructions on our website or just give us a call. We're here to help.